Welcome home. You guys are here on the Carl and Ginger Family Channel, and I have brought in the resident safe cracking experts. I have Carter Share and guys? Lizzie over here, and these guys have been through a ton. We found a safe, and we've been through trying to crack it, and we finally opened it. The cops were called, the FBI came, we got arrested. A lot of crazy stuff happened, so we're here to help you try to crack this safe open now. Right, I mean, we found this thing buried in the backyard. It's a big, long story, so instead of trying to explain it all, here are some highlights to bring you guys up to speed as to what's going on. And we heard something thump or bang around, and it woke us up. We're going back down in the crawl space to investigate. Ouch! Oh, man. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's open, it's open, it's open, look. Whoa. What is this? Did you find the train? There's a piece of chain right here. Go! Whoa! Whoa! Wow, that is a really big safe. I cannot believe that this is what was under the ground. So with that in mind, we've got some really awesome advice and some tools here. We've got voltage meters, we've got temperature sensors, and all kinds of really cool secret spy cameras. We're gonna follow Carter and Lizzie's advice, and we're gonna try and find any more clues that we can as to how we can get this safe open, because every day's a new day. Let's make it an awesome one. So first things first, uh, you wanna make sure you put on gloves because I, you don't wanna put your fingerprints on the safe in case the authorities get involved. They might be checking for fingerprints. So have you already touched it? We've already been like dropping sledgehammers and bowling balls on it from Ooh. high places and yeah. like carrying it around. So it might already be really contaminated, but the first thing we gotta do is check for fingerprints. Yeah, right? because there could be other fingerprints on here and those could be clues that the authorities could use. Right. Carter actually got arrested and they like, did they actually seize your safe and go through it all and do all this already? Yeah, so when I finally got it open, we called the cops. They came over to investigate what was inside the safe. So we did all the hard work to open it. Right. And then they went on the investigation to figure out where it all came from. Gotcha. But we found this buried in our property. We took it to California to Daily Bump's house. Right here, we almost cracked the back of the safe all the way open, but then the authorities called and they said because we took it across state lines, we shouldn't open it there. They would definitely have to seize it. Ooh. But we've got it here at our house and we can actually do this investigation and they gave us permission to do that. Are you guys ready? Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so good. first things first, we got a dust for fingerprints. We have our fingerprint testing kit here. We gotta be really careful not to touch the safe, but we have talcum powder here in this little bottle. It's just like a really fine powder, basically like baby powder. And then we have like a brush so that we can smooth it out on there. We have tape so that you can, if we find any thumbprints or fingerprints, you can actually peel it up and then we put it in the ev evidence bag. That's what we were told to do. That's what they told you guys to do. Yeah. So we're gonna try and do that here. Does anybody have any experience with this? Uh, no, uh, I don't think so. I actually took a class where we did something like this. So you did? Maybe I could do that. Okay, I'll well, I'll grab the camera. You come over here and maybe you and Liz will try this part and we'll see if we can find any evidence. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, Gingerific's ready. You guys ready to do this? Yeah, I'm just so scared because the last time I touched the safe, we got in so much trouble. We checked everything out. I think okay. you guys are safe. So. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. we gotta get the talcum powder and we're just gonna lightly dust it. You just want it very lightly. So the idea is, is that the powder will stick to the oils on your fingers and then you can use this tape and you can actually pick up the powder and see the fingerprint and then maybe mm -hmm. we can send it off to look for clues or see if we can match it with whoever put the safe in the backyard. Ooh, Ginger, you should definitely try the dial. I feel like people must have definitely touched that. There oh, we go. Oh, that was a good oh. one. That was Is good. Is that a print right there? I can't oh. tell. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me get, get a little more. I think we've handled it so much right there, trying to get it open already, just messing <laughs> around, that we probably wiped anything off of there that was there. But nothing yet. It just yeah. looks like the talcum powder so far. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty so crazy. Smooth. Whoa! Here, whoa, the whoa, brush. whoa, look at this. What, what is that? Whoa! Can you guys see that? Maybe I'm just seeing things. Do you see anything yeah, right there? Yeah, I see like lines. Oh my yes, gosh, I yes, see yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. It. Whoa, yeah, what is that? They kind of look like fingerprints, but they're like really big. It totally looks exactly like somebody grabbed the safe like right there. Yeah, but they That's had very really long, long fingers. fingers. Maybe it's that the way like, that I'm And there's only this. three. Good point. There's yeah, only there's only three. three fingers. Yeah. Whoa, there's more right there. I can see it <gasps> in the oh, camera. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay, there's whoa, a lot of stuff weird. on there. So there's yeah, that's three really fingers weird. again. Look at this, guys. We got Someone one. must have grabbed it like this. And look how long it is compared to my finger. Pick it up or something? Yeah, it's like crazy. almost twice as long as my finger. One, two, three fingers. I'm getting kind of creeped three. out. Let's I know this is a little creepy. Look up close right here. And look, the tip is like pointy and weird. That looks like a nail. Like, 
a Ooh. fingernail or something. We found some fingerprints. Maybe this we should try so to weird. get the tape okay, let's and see do if that. we can extract these fingerprints off this of the This is thing. so weird. Oh my gosh, there you go. Careful, just look careful. Don't push down too hard. They said just barely let it stick and it'll get the talcum powder. Good. Barely go like this and there it gets go. the powder. Okay, now lift. Let's see if it worked. You I totally see it. You can it see is. the Look fingers on there. It's oh, really hard to see weird. on camera, but you, you, you can, can definitely see the two Yeah, fingers. the patterns are sure. very odd. You know, I think that's going to be good enough to run it through the system. Oh, and no. the <laughs> okay. That was pretty good, though. Okay, so we're going to stick this okay. in the evidence bag. We're going to tape up the rest of these prints and send them off for analysis. Ooh, okay, so this one, it looks like this Order is going to be a really one. good one. We got two pieces of tape on it. All three fingers together. Oh, it's like one big print in there. Yeah, let's get that in the bag and we'll tag it and we'll uh, send it off. All right, so Carter brought some of these special electrical tools and testing equipment. Yeah. I'm not familiar with any of this, so why don't you explain how okay, this is Okay, so this works. we got this right here. This is a multimeter and it has, it's capable of detecting uh, different electrical currents or voltages that are within the safe. My thoughts are since the safe looks a little bit maybe newer than the one that we had, it's possible there's an extra level of security mm. in the safe. There right. could be GPS tracking in there, there could be other electrical circuits in there, so if it opens up, an alarm could go off. We wanna just kinda of probe the safe a little bit to see if there's any electricity flowing in the safe. Let's try something by the lock. Let's try to do two different probes here. Okay. So is this thing gonna like beep, or should the numbers change if there's yeah. anything happening? Uh, so if we detect any sort of electrical current, this thing should make some noise, right. and it'll indicate that we found something. So I'm not finding anything here, but we had to connect to two conductive points so it means that we need to find two pieces of bare metal there's parts where we smashed open and then there's holes where we drilled in keep an eye on the meter guys and tell us if you see it moving let's try oh here's a good piece right here let's try that oh whoa. what is whoa did we find something carter why is it beeping are the numbers changing carter why is yes it the numbers are totally changing so there might be like some sort of extra security built into the safe that you might want to be careful about. Really? I See, we probably know. should have done all of this before we started smashing it with bowling balls, right? Yeah, you <laughs> might have been, you guys might have been really close to setting something off. So again, we gotta find two different pieces. So let's see. There you oh. go. Yeah, I think there's definitely something mm. going on with this safe here. So we're gonna have to be careful as we proceed and make sure that if we see any wires or anything that gets exposed along the way, we would be really careful. All right, so we've tried um, dusting for fingerprints. We've tried um, for electrical currents, which yep. we did find both of those. Now we're gonna yeah. check it with the heat sensor. So this actually tells us what the temperature is of the safe. So we're just gonna mm. be looking for any changes in temperature that might indicate that there's something maybe warm or cold inside. Yeah. Right, there we go, 73.3. 73.2 Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. right where that laser's pointing. Okay, so now we just start scanning okay. around. Yeah. Try the other side over there where it was. 72. It's like the same everywhere. Heat rises in the cold sink, so we found a cold spot towards the front kind of. Whoa, Whoa Liz, that's really Whoa. cold. 50 degrees. Whoa, what? 60 Whoa. degrees. Where, right on the front? Right on the front. How is 57? That? Whoa! Wait, what? Why could, is it dropping yeah, so low? Yeah, what could it's, possibly be in there? This is the bottom crack right there. What's Something in could there? be giving that off a different really temperature weird. inside. What's okay. in there? Oh, How my does fingers it have electrical like? curtains, curtains and be cold? We found weird three fingered fingerprints on top of the safe. When we dusted for fingerprints, it's electrically conductive. It's giving off like a cold signature across the front of this. I'm so scared. This is really weird, guys. We are finding some really interesting mysteries about this safe. And I think the more evidence we gather, the more confusing it gets. So tell us down in the comments below what you think is going on here and who you think is behind this. When we were at Daily Bump's house, mm -hmm. we used a big hammer drill and we drilled a big hole right through the top of the safe. Oh, yeah. And luckily, we've acquired this little spy camera right here that can take a really high definition photo of the inside of the safe using its own light source. We have this little spy printer printer uh, set up right here and it's hooked up to the camera. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna stick the spy camera down inside this drilled hole and see what's inside. It goes all the way down, yeah, right there. Yeah. So I'll stabilize the top right here. Right. And then there's the, you take the picture right on the bottom. Ready? Yeah, it should light up. There we go. Oh, I think it's working. There we go. Oh, oh is it, it's printing something. You guys, the suspense. Whoa. What if we find out the mystery right now? I what think if we're this is it. Yeah, we'll see what's inside finally. That's it. We it have works. a photo of inside the safe that we just took right there with that little spy camera. You ready? So it's a weird angle from the top down. 
So maybe if we get the perspective right, maybe it's something like this. The four little holes remind me of a cell phone, like those old style cell phones and that have like the ear holding. Right. Tell us what you guys think you see in this photo. It's really hard to see, but let us know down in the comments below. What do you think this picture reveals? Or is it just the wall? I don't know, it's hard to tell. The last thing that we need to test is for chemicals. We've already checked for fingerprints. Mm -hmm. We've looked for temperature uh, differentiation in this thing. We've checked for what, electrical? conductivity. Yeah, and even the camera too. That's right, yeah, we took a picture of the inside that was really mysterious that kind of revealed some clues. We might need to do some more analysis on this. The last thing to do to check for chemicals, so if there's any kind of chemicals leaking out of this or anything like that, it should show up when we turn on these special lights. Let's just see if there's any symbols or anything here. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Wait, Whoa. wait a second, wait a second. That's what, that was not, not there a second ago. Really? Wait, turn off the light quick. Wait. See if it goes away with the light. Just turn, if you turn the light away, it's got like gone. Whoa. There's chemical look, markings. Look, look, look. There's stuff it? on the dial. There's markings on here. I thought it was just gonna be like fluids leaking out or something where it was cold up here. One. Oh, look at that right there. Is that leaking out? I don't know. It's like glowing. This looks like a Z or like an X or a triangle. An arrow with a circle. Wait, look at the edge of the safe. It Whoa. Whoa, Carter, look at this. Yeah. Look at this side. Whoa. Whoa. That's, it's like a map. It's like a crop circle. What is that? This That's doesn't even make any sense. This is really weird. Look, this is right where Brian drilled a hole through, like when we were at his house, and we had no idea. What if there's more, you guys? Oh, I think there's some on the back, too. Whoa! What is it? Look what at is this it? one. This one's really cool. This is just impressions. I have no idea. But look, it looks like a planet and like a travel path. And is how this a map? Is it like a space map or something? That looks like an eyeball to me. So we've looked at the front, the side, and the back. What's over there, Carter? Let's see if we see anything I'm on this so side. Nervous. Okay. Well, there's nothing with no. Oh! Right there. That one does look like a crop circle or something. This is really bizarre, this you guys. Is so mean. Are you guys at home familiar with any of these symbols at all? Because this doesn't make any sense to me. This doesn't look like it's even like human. Look at the top. There's more circles. There's like Whoa. a dot pattern and a swirl. These look like those Wi-Fi signals, like projections. Oh, it does look like Wi-Fi. And look, there's like an arrow that points right here. Whoa. Like maybe there's something in there where we cut the front corner off. I think that what we need to do is follow this arrow and maybe see if we can dig into this side of the safe and find anything. Carter, what's usually Whoa. in there? Look at that. Look, what oh, is that? I don't know. It just smushed. What? Is it's it? a lot softer than I thought. Look at that. Whoa. It's pointing right where you're digging. Right. It's gonna be scary. really careful. Be careful. I don't know if you want to do this. This is exciting though, guys. This is like real life mystery. I know. I don't know if you want to be careful. Carl, I think you should be really yeah, careful here. Because we don't know what's inside here. I'm being that careful. That looks really gross. Or even who drew these more I think things. you're, I don't know if you even want to know what's inside. There might not be anything Ew. in there. Whoa! 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 I don't know. <laughs> what is Ew! Don't touch it. Ew, that might what be alien that? or something. What is Ew. that? Ew, don't touch it. Ew, push it back I don't back think in. you should touch it. I think you should put it back in. <laughs> Oh, it's like a stick. What is it, you guys? Ew, it looks really gross and old. It's like paper. Is it? It's literally like paper. Look. There's numbers. No way. No way. What does it say? One one three zero nine zero seven. What's on the end? It's like a V. A W a or v a V or W? What is that? This is really bizarre, you guys. I don't understand that all of this. came out of the hole right there. Is there anything okay. else? We you need to put this it? in another bag. And we'll see if we can secure this and we'll keep looking for evidence. How is it even in there? I don't know because when we were at Brian's house, we like cut this off with yeah. a grinder yeah. and there was nothing there. Wait, there was no indication. Have you guys even checked the bottom of the safe? That's where all the coal is coming from. No, we haven't. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. Just like this. I don't really see anything so far. Oh, there's yeah, nothing on the bottom. Yeah, oh, wait. Whoa. 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 That wait really second. looks like a, more like a compass, doesn't it? There's arrows. It's like arrows. A, it's a map. That says like, is what that is north? It? Is that an N for north? We should get a pen and paper and write this yeah, down. Yeah, we, we should. Let's write this down. The thing is, is we don't know the order here. So as a human, I would think left to right as an American human, right? But who yeah. knows? But other countries read from like right. bottom so, to up or something, I think. Right. I don't know. Shows how much we know. I, I see a three to me. Three oh, look how that glow is so good right there. Who knows? I feel, like, I feel like 
this says 5-1. Yeah, that definitely looks like a 5-1, but it's hard to say. Yeah, it does look like a Maybe they're not numbers and they're just this symbols. Is a, Wait, is this that is a like, This is definitely a 15. That looks look like that. a 15, That's yeah. That's a 5 for sure. 57 or 37, 32, okay. unless it's just symbols and these are not even numbers well, yet. Well, this looks like a Roman numeral. That looks like an N. Like IV. I don't know, you guys. We're gonna have to figure this out. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the safe, but I don't even think you should have it in the house. You should probably take it outside, I think. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on here, a lot to take in. We've got weird, like, three-fingered fingerprints, all sorts of neon colors and symbols and stuff to try and figure out. I don't know what this means. We don't know what's in there. It's giving off, like, a cold signature off the front. We're going to have to figure it out. Please let us know in the comments. Tell us what you think we should do and how we should get this thing open. Maybe it's a combination. That's what the numbers are. Maybe it's something to do with a map, I don't know. Welcome home, you guys. You're here on the Carl and Ginger family channel, and holy smokes, we've got some crazy mysteries going on right now. Carter and Lizzie have come all the way from their place here to our house to help us uncover and find more clues to unlocking this safe and to finding out what's inside. And we've uncovered some really strange mysteries, and in fact, here's a quick recap to bring you up to speed. They kind of look like fingerprints, but they're like really big. Oh, here's a good piece right here. Let's try that. Oh, well. Let's just see if there's any symbols or anything here. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. That's what, that was not there a second ago. Look at the top. There's more circles. There's like a dot pattern and a swirl. These look like those Wi-Fi signals, like projections. Oh, it does look like Wi-Fi. And look, there's like an arrow that points right here. I don't know if you even want to know what's inside. There might not be anything in there. Whoa! It's literally like paper. Look, there's numbers. No way. No way. Yeah, we found so many strange clues in the safe. We found symbols that are all over it, but you can only see them with the black light. We found a clue that was like inside of the plaster of the safe that was like in this hole here. It was this little clue there. We found so many crazy things, so I'm really curious to see like where this thing came from and what's inside. Yeah, and Ginger and I basically stayed up like all night trying to figure out how to open this thing. We thought like maybe we could figure out the code or something or try to like break through somehow. It's yeah. really difficult. So we thought the numbers that we found on this little piece of paper and also written on the bottom of the safe might have been the combination lock and none of those worked as many times as you guys tried, as Ginger and Lizzie tried. It didn't work, but we figured out what we think the codes mean and we're gonna show you right now because every day's a new day. Let's make, make it, it an awesome one. So here's what we think we figured out, you guys. We found this little piece of paper was actually buried in this hole in the safe up here. We dug out the plaster and it's 113-0907-W. And we tried it upside down, we tried all different ways. And then on the bottom of the safe, in like some weird glowing light, we found these other codes. We found one one three zero nine zero seven w and we tried flipping it over and all these different things 37 32 and what we figured out is that we think it's gps coordinates oh, yeah. yeah so check this out i'm going to show you right now on the computer so i've got google earth open here and we're going to type these numbers in and watch what happens this is really crazy all right carter go ahead and tell me what numbers come up 37 37 32 32 15 15 and then n for north i think north okay and then 113 113 09 07 07 and w for west maybe w okay come check this out look watch this when i search for this this is why i think this is the right answer Whoa. it goes immediately right in here Whoa, where is that? Where is to a place that we've actually been before that's called Canerville Falls. That's actually only like maybe an hour away from where we live right here. So I think this is actually where we need to go next to look for clues. Do you what guys, guys wanna think? go? I yeah. think we should go. Let's go. I think so. So we'll pull our GPS up and we'll take it on our phones and we'll go back in there and we'll see if we can find the next clue. All right guys, we're here at the Canerville Falls Trailhead. We're about ready to start this hike. It's about a five mile round trip and the GPS coordinates look like they take us almost all the way back into the canyon. So we just gotta get going on the trail, keep our eyes out for clues. Okay everybody, keep your eyes out for clues along the trail. Hike at your own risk. We'll get to the GPS coordinates and see what we find. This hike is one of the most scenic and beautiful hikes that we've ever been on. We've been up here before. We've never found anything, 
but who knows we're gonna have to follow the gps coordinates and see what we find i'm so excited carl i'm just i just know we're gonna find something cool it's really beautiful up here isn't it it's so awesome all right let's go Look at this, this is a really interesting spot. I would say that we're probably, what would you say, maybe two miles back in, mile and a half or so? Yeah, we're like way far. I'm surprised there's anything out here. Right, but all of a sudden there's just like a security fence right here, barbed wire, and then there's like vented pipes and stuff and a hatch, almost like there's some kind of an underground facility. But we're way back here in the canyons. It's really beautiful, but I don't know. It seems like there's something buried underground out here. It's really weird. Maybe we should check the uh, GPS coordinates. What if this is the spot where we're supposed to like pick the lock and go inside this bunker or something like? Yeah. I don't know, I kind of feel like it's a little farther up though. Uh, let's check the GPS coordinates and we'll see if this is the spot or not. If not, then uh, we'll keep moving. Whoa, Look whoa. at this, this is like a rock, but it's like soft. Oh, weird. It's under the ground, like under the dirt even, like the dirt squishy. There's definitely like some sort of an underground bunker or tunnels yeah. or like a cave or something going on here. Ginger, did you get the uh, GPS coordinates pulled up? Yeah, I did. It's actually further up the canyon, I think. So, so this isn't even yeah, it. It's a little bit too soon. Okay, so we need to go like another two miles up. Yeah, uh, I think that's about right. I don't know. This is really weird. There's like a whole underground facility or a tunnel or a bunker of some kind. Let us know down in the comments below what you think's going on here, but we have another two miles to go, it seems like. Carl, are you sure this is the way? I don't know. This is the only way the trail goes. Can you make it? Ooh, yeah, I made it. Careful, Lizzie. That was scary. Oh, there's only on one way down, and that's like right through the creek water. So here we go. Woo! Can you make it down, Kyle? You made it, Kyle. Good job. This is a pretty crazy hike. It's very interactive. You got to climb over rocks, duck underneath trees. It's a really fun one. It really makes me think there could be anything hidden up here, don't you think? Yeah, this is crazy. It's really cool. We're going back into the canyon now. Look at this view. There could be any clues to any kind of mysteries anywhere back here. It feels like you're in the Goonies or Indiana Jones or something. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Good job, Luke. Good job, Kyle. Good job, me. Good job, Ginger Riffing. We did it. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. Smash that like button and give us good luck. And make sure and check behind us and look around for any clues that we might have missed and tell us in the comments below. Is this the way? Oh, I don't know where we are anymore. Have you seen any clues yet? Well, just that like one hatch in the ground. I don't know. I know. We got to keep looking, huh? Do you see anything, Kyle? No. Not really, huh? I haven't either. Right. It's crazy. Keep going. I guess we got to keep our eyes peeled. So pretty here. Wow. This feels like something out of a crazy adventure science fiction movie or something, huh? Yeah. Like there could be alien artifacts or maybe dinosaur bones out here. Maybe. Or any kind of mystery. Like dinosaurs were out here. I know, there could definitely be buried treasure. It feels like we're on Endor from Star Wars, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is really awesome. Tell us guys, have you seen any clues or anything on the trail so far? If you have, tell us all in the comments because we might need some help from you guys. Oh, I know, for sure. I mean, wow, there could be anything up here. Uh, I'm not too sure about this. Are you sure we're going the right way? I have no idea. GPS says we're getting closer. It's just like maybe another half a mile. Everybody having fun though? Yes! This is a really awesome day, isn't it? Yep. Whoa, we go from being like in the canyon to basically being in the jungle. It feels like we're like on a safari right this now. This so crazy. Reminds me of when we went to Kauai on that treasure hunt. Oh yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Lizzie, is that a cave? Yeah, it looks like one. Whoa. Oh my gosh, how far back does that go? I don't know, it goes way back. Wow. It looks like it stops like right there, huh? I think it like goes deep up there, but it starts getting dark so you can't really see much. Right, right. Wow. We're going to go further up the canyon, see if we can find any better clues. Whoa, guys. What? Ginger, get up here. Look at this. You guys are not going to believe this. I don't know if this is a clue or if this is just a coincidence. But look at all the carvings on this wall. It's like a huge cliff face. Oh man, it makes you feel really <laughs> tiny. Like a clue to 
to where we're supposed to be going because on the GPS we're getting close. We're getting very close, but look at all this. There's carvings and everything on the wall. There's lettering. It's really hard to tell, but it looks like petroglyphs or something all over the place. It almost says Kyle's name right there, doesn't it? Is this a number seven right here though? And a 10 next to it? Oh, it says a like triangle C7. I wonder if that means something. I think we're getting really close, so maybe this is a good sign that we're on the right track. We're in Australian Outback looking for the legendary, I don't know, some type of clue. Maybe the yellow striped fish is very awesome. Let's do this. We're on the trail of the legendary. We got to do this. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It's an adventure. Oh, 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 now we're British, right? Oh, I don't know what we're doing. It's so hard to look for clues back in here because every which way you look, there could be tunnels and caves and secret entrances or anything. So we just got to spread out and look all over the place. Whoa, did you guys find the cave? Yeah. This. Yeah. Look, there's a cave look, just around the corner, there's actually a waterfall right up here. Really? Let's go check it out. I'm pretty sure this is the spot that has a waterfall. Okay, let's go look. We're getting very close, you guys. We're like right at the entrance of where the GPS coordinates say it's supposed to be. So we really gotta keep our eyes peeled. Oh, look, Carl. Liz is just taking a lot of photos of Carter right now. Is she really? She is. She totally. Liz, are you taking lots of photos of Carter? Uh, of, yeah, of the canyon. What's that all about? It says, hey, you watch this on YouTube? Oh, you know this too? Yeah. yeah. Hey, nice to meet you guys. Make today awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's funny. I wonder if they found any clues. You guys, this canyon just gets getting more and more narrow, and the temperature's dropping, and we're getting really, really close. So any second now, I think we're going to come up right on the spot where the GPS coordinates said to go. It sounds like there's like a waterfall or something up here, guys. Whoa! Whoa, look at this. Wow. There's a waterfall with a cave right back in there. We have to check out that cave. I know, we definitely have to. Let's check the GPS coordinates and let's see if this is the spot. You guys, this is definitely the spot where the GPS coordinates are. It is like a waterfall. It's like a waterfall and the, it goes back in here like a cave. So we just need to look around and see if we can spot any clues. Does somebody dare go back in there? Kyle, you're brave enough? Yeah. Okay, go back in there and look for clues. Watch your step. You're doing awesome, Kyle. You're so brave. Thanks, Lizzie. Got it. You see any clues? No. No? Maybe we should look around, like just all around here, maybe even in the water, and see if you guys can find anything. Yeah, let us know. Do you guys see any clues? Do you see anything at all? We're looking for any kind of a clue, a treasure map, anything like that at all. Yeah. Whoa! What is Whoa. That? Is that a drone? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's like a drone us? flying overhead. Is somebody spying on us? Is that us? thing be following us the whole time? I don't know. Have you seen that at all? No, that's the first time I've seen it. Carl, whoa! What, what is, is that? Whoa! Whoa! What is it? Whoa, it's a really old jar. Look at that. Look at this. Kyle, come check it out. Look. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. What, what is that? What's inside? We'll have to take it back home. We yeah, should we put better it... open it somewhere where like all the contents can be safe. We don't know what's in there. Let's right? put it in the backpack and keep an eye out for drones, you guys. It could be anything anywhere. Yeah, where did it go? Yeah. I don't know. But the biggest question is, who was it? Who was it and what's inside this jar? The only thing that we can do is keep going forward and make our way out of the canyon so we can get back to the house and check out the contents of the jar. Be careful, guys. Carl, oh, check this out. What's up? Look at this. Look at this dark pigmentation on the glass. Wow. See how old the lid is? I didn't notice it before, but it's that really is a old. really old lid. Look at that. It looks really old, like it's been here a long time, and it's full of sand. It looks like paper or pictures or something in there. Can you tell what it I is? I cannot see what that is. Wow, this is crazy.
Guys, I think this is the end of the trail, isn't it? Yeah, I think it ends. Sure what do you like think, it. Kyle? I think we should try to cross. Yeah, I think we gotta go back. It's all too deep. It's all like blocked up right here. There's no way else out, so we're gonna have to turn around and head back home. You guys, we followed the GPS coordinates all the way to the end of the trail. We found that jar right at the base of that mysterious waterfall. We're gonna take it back to the house and see what's inside that. You guys need to tell us down in the comments below what you think is in there and what you think it's gonna to lead to next. Maybe it's the combinations to the safe, I don't know. Welcome back to Gingerific, the most savage mom channel on YouTube. Are you guys ready to have some fun today? Let's do this. Blue, you just like to carry around all these sticks. Look at this. Can you fetch yet? Get it. Oh, he can fetch. Come here, Blue. Oh, good boy. Oh, and there he goes. Today we're gonna investigate more of the safe mystery. In the last Carl and Ginger video, we found ourselves looking for clues up near a waterfall. We did find something, you guys. Here is a quick recap. Okay, everybody, keep your eyes out for clues along the trail. Look at all the carvings on this wall. It's really hard to tell, but it looks like petroglyphs or something all over the place. Whoa! Is that a drawing? Whoa! What is it? Whoa, it's a really old jar. Look at that. But if you guys are new here and you don't really know why we were in the slot canyon, let me just catch you up real quick. We found a mysterious canister in our crawl space and then we opened the canister. In the canister, we found a cassette tape and on the cassette tape, we heard this. <laughs> We had to listen to it multiple times. It was talking about the chain, which we went and found, and it was actually on our property. It took us a while to pull up what was under there. It was a huge surprise. We had no idea what to even do with it. We had no idea what's inside of it. We still don't. We tried to just do everything we could to get it open. We tried dropping a bowling ball on it. We tried pushing it down a hill. We tried dragging it behind a Polaris. We tried so many different things, you guys, and we could not get it open. But luckily, Liz and Carter came and saved us, and we investigated the safe a little further, and we found so many weird things. What do these symbols mean, and why can you only see it when you hit it with black light? It's like a glow-in-the-dark, alien-looking symbols on the outside of the safe. So we did our best to follow little clues in the safe, and we ended up finding what we realized were GPS coordinates. And those GPS coordinates led us to the waterfall where we found this, this little jar. We have no idea what's inside of it, so today, we're gonna open it because every day's a new day. Let's make it an awesome one. This little jar definitely has like sheets of paper in there or something. This is like sand. It's like a really dark red sand. That color of sand is intermittent throughout this area. So I think that it's not too unusual to have the dark red sand in there. It's not everywhere. We don't have it necessarily like around our house too much, but up in the hills and stuff, the, the color of the dirt around here changes a lot, so it's not that unusual. There is something weird about the paper in here. It's not like normal paper. It's super thick. And right here, look at this. Like, that is on the paper. That does not look just like plain white paper, and I don't see any writing. I definitely think we should get Carl and see if we can see what's inside of this thing. Be sure to comment down below right now, what do you think it is? Do you think it's safe to open? It just looks like sand, but what if there was something dangerous in there? I don't have any reason to think that there'd be anything malicious in there. So we're gonna be really careful, but tell me what you guys think down in the comments. Let's go, guys. Carl! What? I totally think we need to open this jar now. Come you on. Think it's, it's time? Yes, it's been like a you're, day. You're and not I gonna just, open it without me, are you? No, I think we need to open it together and figure out what's inside. I mean, it could be a clue. It could be like an it's, answer to all of our questions. It's all discolored and weird and like rusted. Like, I don't know, is this an old jar with new stuff in it or has it been there for a long time? I don't know. We should open it up and see what's inside. Carl had a really good idea to check it with the black light first because of what we found on the safe. Carl, I think we'd better use some gloves. I think so too. We've already been just handling it. As soon as we found it at the waterfall, it was like we just picked it up and got excited. So I don't think dusting for fingerprints makes any sense. Let's just stick it on this plate, which okay. is clean, and we'll turn on the light. 
Okay, are you ready? Uh-huh. Carl, I'm a little bit nervous. I know. The, the mystery safe that we uh, found is covered with weird stuff, so who knows if this is connected or if it's gonna have any more clues on the outside. Go ahead and turn it on and okay, let's see. Here we go. You guys ready? Three, two, one, go. The light's on. Take oh, yeah. a look at that. Look at that. We don't even know what material that really is. It just looks like it could be paper, but I actually don't have any clue. Maybe let's Rotating look on the bottom. Around. Anything on the bottom? Whoa, oh, that looks like... weird. All right, let's take a good look at the lid just to make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't see anything on the lid at no. all. I've got my gloves on. I've got the tweezers ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. I hope yeah. I can get this open. Here, we, Here go. we go. Oh man, that's tight. Oh. Is it glued on there? You can hear it. Hold on. Okay. Listen to that. It's like crunching inside. Do you think I should just dump it out? I think just so. Just go for it? Okay, I, here we go. We're not sure what we're going to find in here, but let's take a look. Pick I'm just up. trying to spread the sand out so that we can see if there's anything in there. You right. know what I mean? Right. Like, we, we don't want really to really miss anything. What if like a bug comes running out of it? It would be freaky. <laughs> So it looks like just the dirt and stuff that got scooped in there. Maybe we should just dump that out and we'll see. Whoa! One piece just fell out. Okay, I do not know what that is. Hold it still, what is it? It looks like it's made of rock or something. But it's so thin. It looks like a thin slice of rock or maybe just like a picture of rock or something like that. Yeah, it's like thick, thick paper or like... Plastic or something. Yeah, it kind of feels plasticky. Let's see what else is okay. in there. It's just so weird that we would find something like this what right in, in that world? weird tunnel or that like abandoned waterfall cave. It's like and then there's a drone that flies over and inside it this jar, no it's sense. just like these weird slices of something. Okay, look at this one, how it's like more orange colored and this is more dark like gray colored. Gray? What does that even mean? There's two sides to it so you can flip it over and now this one has color and this one has color now in it dark. Matches. and there's like weird lines and stuff like oh, that look at that that looks like part like a circular motion right let's That's... just get the rest out really quick and right. we'll just see what we can find i have no idea what to expect there you got it okay there you go there's one whoa look at the, whoa. Look at the design on that there's a definitely some sort whoa. of arch thing or like a symbol on there what is that but then this side's orange like the rest Weird. That is so weird. Okay, we have one more. Here we go. Okay. Hopefully there's some, some writing or anything or some sort of a clue. This is all like hmm, sand. It's all covered in sand and stuff. All right, Carl. So now that we have everything out of the jar, I think we just need to like get these cleaned off and see if we can find any sort of pattern. Oh, look at this. Look right here. Oh, look what? right here. Look at that. Doesn't it seem like that continues or something? Maybe. Like this line almost matches up. That looks like it definitely Whoa. connects right there. Look. Yes. So maybe this okay. totally is just like a puzzle. Look at this. There's more like lines and stuff right here. It totally feels like this could be some sort of puzzle. You guys tell me right now down in the comments. What do you think this is? Is this dangerous? Is, what is this? What is happening? Look, this piece fits right <gasps> here like this. Whoa. It's totally just like a puzzle. It's like a picture of something that's been cut up into different chunks, I think. Does anything look familiar to you at all? <laughs> no, but it definitely all fits together. It's a picture of a pattern. Let's see the, this matches this size, so I bet this one goes right here. Whoa. Does it? Does it look like it goes I there? I feel like it does. And then maybe... Because the line continues. I can't touch it because I took off my gloves. Oh, there. Right look, here. look, 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 look. Yeah, that Whoa. line continues. It's Whoa. like it's a big spiral pattern. Like a crop circle, just like those weird symbols on the safe, right? Oh my gosh, it totally matches the symbols on the safe. There's circles and dots and weird triangles and things like that and different strange shapes. And this is like a total spiral pattern, like in the dirt or rocks. I feel like we have to flip it over and see what's on the black and white side. Okay, let's do it. You guys tell us, if you watch the video where we found the symbols on the safe, does this match exactly what was on the safe? It feels really similar to me. If you watch the other other video what part does this match like which symbol do you feel like this is most like because I feel like this has to do with something with the safe for sure and especially because there's someone spying on us there's just too much fishy stuff going on we totally have to continue investigating this and I took my gloves off so it's up to you Carl to do it okay <laughs> look so at how dark that is it's totally it's different. Way different we'll flip this one over like this 
Okay, it. those lines totally match up. Oh my gosh, right Do they? there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah kind of right there. We'll okay, keep going. Let's see what this does. Doesn't it just look like rock? Yep, definitely or some looks sort like of rock. like design in a rock. There's that weird arch yeah. thing. This one right here makes me feel like it could be like something written on a rock. It's like a U and a U with a dot. Yeah. Well, if you turn it this way, it looks like a big C ah! inside a little C. I know. I know exactly where this pic picture was taken. I know. What? Do you remember when I went with the kids and we saw those petroglyphs at the petroglyph park? Yes! Do you remember that? I even posted on Instagram about this because I thought it looked like our Carl and Ginger it like totally the CJ does. logo. I've actually taken a photo of that before. That's like an ancient petroglyph on a rock. The question is, is what in the world is that doing like miles and miles away in a jar in a cave while we're getting spied on by a drone? Look, you can see the symbol. It looks like the CJ logo kind of. It looks like a C and a C. Yes. And then like down here is like more parts of the carvings of the petroglyph. And that's why there's the spiral pattern because I remember seeing that too. There was like a whole circular spiral pattern. There's like three of them on this huge boulder that's split in half that these ancient people that used to live around here, they carved this stuff on the rocks like hundreds of years ago. I don't know, my, maybe even thousands of years ago, but it, it's really old. Something just occurred to me too, Carl. What? When we were on the hike going up to the waterfall, we came across an entire wall that of petroglyphs. That whole wall was carved, right? With just like thousands. So there's something like really bizarre going on with ancient petroglyphs yeah. with this safe, but with the weird like glowing symbols and the heat it, signatures this is and getting cold. Like, really weird. I don't know. I don't even want to say it. It's like some weird time travel thing or some alien thing. I, I have don't know. no idea. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. Carl, I think we better go to the petroglyph park. I have a hard time saying petroglyph. <laughs> <laughs> petroglyph. But don't you think we should go down there and see if we can find any more clues? We should. I think we should definitely go down there and check it out. We'll find these symbols and we'll find the spiral and we'll look all around that area. There's a few little like caves and stuff like that. I don't want anybody watching us because we've got that message on that tape that it said we are watching and so maybe we should like sneak over there tonight and go check it out that's a really good idea let's do that so this is an instagram Whoa. picture that i took a okay. few weeks ago or like a, a month or two ago but look totally look, look look there's that cj thing oh and look gosh. on the picture right there that's the that same is thing so crazy and look <gasps> there's a spiral pattern there's one of them oh and look it's like a crop circle right just like yes. the symbols on the safe yes yes this is the spot this is it if you guys don't follow us on instagram be sure and do that and also i think we better just put an end to this right now and well, then go check out the and go the, look uh, on instagram because like obviously tonight. this has been going on for a while yeah. right somebody's been following us well the weird like thing is is we've been to that water pool one other time and we actually posted an instagram of us there this Something is, is really so weird. weird. I think we definitely need to go to the Petroglyphs Park and see if we can find out any more clues, don't you? Yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll go spy out the area and then tonight when the sun goes down, we could sneak over there and look for some clues. I'll film it all and post it over on the Carlin Ginger Family channel so you can check it out over there and see what happens. Welcome home, you guys. You're here on the Carl and Ginger Family Channel and we have some interesting things that have developed. We have opened the jar that we found when we were back in the canyon with Lizzie and Carter Scherer. We found this in an abandoned waterfall. You know what? Here are some highlights. We'll get to the GPS coordinates and see what we find. It's really hard to tell, but it looks like petroglyphs or something all over the place. Whoa! Is that, is that? Is that a draw? Whoa, what is, what is that? Whoa! Look at that, Ooh, look at that! What, what is that? What's inside? So at the base of that waterfall, we actually explored it and found this jar and it contained this interesting message. There's all these different pieces to this puzzle and when you put it all together, it makes an interesting symbol. But you gotta check it out. Here's a recap from the Gingerific channel when we open the jar. Okay. Listen to that, it's like crunching inside. Oh! One piece just fell out. Okay, I do not know what that is. Does anything look familiar to you at all? <laughs> no, but it definitely all fits together. Well, if you turn it this way, it looks like a big C ah! inside a little C. I know, I know exactly where this pic picture was taken, I know. That's like an ancient petroglyph on a rock. Maybe we should like sneak over there tonight and go check it out. You guys, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna grab Gingerific and get her help and we're gonna go where these petroglyphs are and we're gonna see what kind of evidence and clues that we can find. Because every day's a new day, let's make it an awesome one. So we've got this, a picture that we put together that we got out of the jar that we found on your channel. I wanna show how we've confirmed that I think we know exactly where this spot is and we gotta go investigate it. 
So inside the jar was all this sand and these cut up pieces of stuff that turns out to be like an old photograph. And on the other side is a big swirl pattern. I went here like a couple of months ago to this exact spot. It's the same symbols on the rocks. Whoa. Look, here's the circle pattern and then here's the interesting part. Look at that. It's the same symbol for sure. It's exactly the same symbol. And so if this leads somewhere or to another clue, we have to go there and we need to find it. But before we do that, I don't want to go there at night and not know what's going on. So I think we should do like a slow roll by and see if there's any drones in the sky or any suspicious people watching us. And then we could come up with a game plan of how we can sneak in there and explore that little abandoned area at night. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Ginger, I don't think we've ever even driven this car on camera before. I don't think that we have. The good thing is, is that if anybody's following us, maybe having a different car will deter them a little or right. something. So we're driving this car. It's actually a, a Honda that we got so that we could run around town and do more road trips and things like that. Nobody really knows that we have this car. So hopefully we can be really sneaky and we can spy out the area and make sure that nobody's watching us, but there's no drones up in the sky spying on us either. Start doing a slow roll. We're coming up close to the area, but I want to look up in the sky and see if I can find any kind of drones or if there's anybody up on these hillsides around the area. Let me know guys down in the comments below if you see anybody. I'm gonna scan through the rocks. It looks okay so far. Let's go closer to where the petroglyphs are and we'll check it out. Whoa, what's that? Is that a drone? Oh, I think it's just a bird. Yeah, I don't see a drone or anything. Right on those rocks and around the big boulder and everything is where the petroglyphs are right there. There's like some stuff on the ground that I don't remember there being here. But... We really need to keep our eyes peeled, you guys, because if there's anything out here or anybody watching, we need to know. This is it. This is definitely the spot. Wow, that is so crazy. Right? They have and it there's, all like fenced off. There's markings and carvings and there's like some buildings and some abandoned stuff here. We're gonna have to come back at night and check it out. I'm gonna look through the bushes and stuff here. I don't see anybody. This is definitely it. You can see the petroglyphs on the rock from here. There's definitely some stuff that looks like it's been moved around from the last time that I was here. So I don't see anybody that might be watching us, but who knows? It's definitely the same spot that we found on that image in the jar and that weird picture. It's the same petroglyphs in the same spot. I didn't see anybody spy on us, but I think the best and the safest thing to do is to sneak back at night with some flashlights and see what we can find. Okay, it's almost time. It looks like the sun's about ready to go down. I'm gonna go inside and see if Ginger's ready to go and see if we can find anything at these petroglyphs, but we're gonna have to really keep our eyes peeled. We wanna sneak in and not get seen, but we have to use flashlights and see if we can look for any clues so you guys keep your eyes peeled when we go over there and smash that like button and give us good luck our new car even looks like a little spy car doesn't it ginger oh totally hey carl i got this duffel bag i thought we could use this in case we found any clues or evidence or anything like that and i also have gloves this right. time if we find any clues or anything like that we can stick them in the duffel bag and hopefully not ruin right. or contaminate anything this is like high powered Woo. Woo. Oh, that is. are you ready to go all right let's load let's up uh, the sun's almost set all the way and we'll be ready let's go it's almost dark enough to sneak around i think we're just gonna have to look around for more clues wait what? don't put that up what my dad taught me a trick a long time ago he said <laughs> that like you want to keep your visor up like this if you're being followed or anything in case there's like an airplane or a helicopter like a satellite or in our case maybe like a drone flying overhead that might spy on us so oh that's a good point yeah keep your visors up all right big shout out to my dad for that good tip i think we should do another like roll by and see if we can see anybody watching don't you think i totally think we should because i'm really freaked out about that drone and what that is and who that was i know and that message on the tape was that we are watching so we got to keep our eyes peeled we're going to drive past it from a different direction this time so they don't expect us coming this way okay we're back there's some lights on over there and then this creepy like weird abandoned house or something whatever there's like some abandoned buildings there the petroglyphs are right over there but i'm looking up in the sky and trying to check around and i don't see any drones or anything i think the coast is clear so let's go turn around and park somewhere and then we'll sneak up and see what we can find okay ginger we're right there the bushes are all around us so we got to look around like for any clues i think right over there is where the petroglyphs are so let's check it out let's go look Shh, gotta be really quiet look around look around the bushes and stuff you guys tell us if you see anything we have to watch for like lights in the sky and stuff too okay here we are guys look hey there's Just petroglyphs petroglyphs right here where 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 right there oh, look wow 
Hang on, wow, look at that. Oh, look at this one. This looks like one of the symbols that it's on the safe. It kind of does. It has does. like a circle, and then one of these that comes off. Do any of these symbols match the symbols on the safe, you guys? Look at this, there's like a whole bunch more. I remember it's like where the rock is split, and there's like a whole bunch more up here, look. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, look, 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 look. Look, right in the middle of the screen, look. See that symbol? Ginger, you should oh. jump up there and check it out. We're actually using my cell phone. The other flashlight oh, was so that. bright. We didn't, we couldn't hide very good. So is it you? Is this the one you were talking about, Carl? With I don't like, know. It was the U inside the U? It seems like there was two of them or something. There was more than one. Look around. Look more up towards the top. Let's just confirm. Right there. Look up. Look up. Oh, <gasps> there it is. Yes, there it is. Oh hey. man, that's so cool. So look okay. around. This is definitely the spot, guys. Maybe we can find one of those swirls or something. Okay, let's see. Here's one. Where? Look. Where, where, where? Look, can you see that right there? <gasps> Whoa, There's yes. There's one right yes, there. Yes. What made that? That looks like something just clawed out of the rock right there. Wow. Can I wonder if like that? a dinosaur did that. And this like looks like a, a huge, animal? huge like three. <gasps> look, it looks like a big three-fingered handprint in the rocks right here. Whoa. See where the moss is growing There up? were three finger like marks on the, on the safe. On the safe. The fingerprints on the top of the You're safe. You're totally right. Oh right? my gosh. Another spiral. Oh. Another spiral. Totally. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What, what is that? What is, what is that? that? Do you see Whoa. that? Oh. I forgot my gloves in the car. We got to go back and get the gloves. Oh crap. This is definitely it, guys. There's the logo, the C logo thing. And then the spirals down here. And right below it from the picture, there's like a weird box. Whoa. Look I have that. never seen anything like that. What is that, Carl? It's like, I don't know. It's like shiny. <laughs> I have long sleeves. Should I what grab the hand? Look, that looks like a handle. Maybe if I put... It's cold. What? It's like it's frozen. It's like a hundred degrees out here. That does not make sense. I don't want to disrupt anything like the fingerprints or anything. So we got to run back to the car and get some gloves and let's get out of here. We forgot the duffel bag too. Oh we're, my, we're, we're the worst. We're, I was just, shh, I'm yelling. I'm sorry. Let's well, stay here and keep an eye out. Run back okay. and get the stuff. Okay, okay, girl, I got it. You got it? Yes, okay. okay. Put the gloves on. Okay, I'm going to lay this out so it's all ready. Get my gloves on. I don't want any of my fingerprints on that thing. We're making a lot of shadows and stuff like that. Okay. And I can hear like doors slamming and there's cars coming and stuff. So we better hurry up. So I think if I lay on my stomach, I can get down there can get the leverage. and reach it. It looks really heavy though. Oh my gosh, it's like purple. It's like shiny too. It's oh cold, man, huh? it's so heavy. It's cold, huh? Yeah, it's like going through it? the glove. Like the coldness is through the glove. I'm glad you got those gloves. It's not too cold, right? That okay. looks like you... Whoa, this... there's like a foil on it. Oh. What is it? Oh, Carl, it's so heavy. It definitely has a weird smell and it's cold. It's cold. Like, Let's get out of here. These, we like, got, we got pants. whatever it is. That's definitely Are it. Are you bringing it with us? Yeah, we got to get out of here. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get caught with this. Let's okay. go. Now if we can just be get really, it in yeah, the back. Just be really careful. Okay. It's heavy. Oh man, it's so yeah. heavy. Oh, there's like a cord. Is there like a cord is. or like a wire or something? It's like a wire. Look at that. Like it was hooked up to something. What is Look, it made this of? is like hooked up to something. Let's get out of here. Let's okay, get out we of gotta here. get out of here, Carl. This is really weird. Are you getting it? It doesn't fit in the bag. Okay, you are not wearing gloves. Do not Let's touch go. it. Come on. Okay, okay. There's a cord. There's a cord. Go the other way. Go the other way. Go the other way around. Go the other way. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Get down behind the rocks. Car? No, there was a car that drove right past us and there was people looking at us out the window. Who would have even known that we were here, know. Carl? This is so weird. I think if we circle around the petroglyph boulder that way and we get out of the fence and we go that way, we can get out. But, but somebody... we have to be so quiet. Shh, somebody's okay. parked over there. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's heavy. Let's go. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Look, look, look. look. Get in, get in, get in. Let's go. There they are. That's the car. Oh, that's the car that That's was the car us. that went by right there. Did you see them? Yes. That was exactly the same people. They're turning around. Oh, They're man. turning around. Oh, They're pulling you turn. Oh, man. Go, Ginger. Go go. go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, my gosh, Carl. This is so Drive crazy. Drive safe. Drive safe. This is so crazy. Go, go, go. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, turn. We got to ditch him. Go, go, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to double back. Just turn up here. Go, go, go. Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, no. Turn around. What do we do? Turn around. This is not good. Oh, my gosh. There they are. There they are. Just turn it off. Turn it off. Shh. Turn it off. Put it in park. Park. Shh. It's real Oh, my gosh. Shh. There they are. 
That's their headlights, guys, right there. Whoa. There they go. <gasps> go, 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 go. Turn right. Here we go. I think we're gonna make it, you guys. Do you see them? No, I don't think they, they saw that we turned. I, I don't know, I'm just like so nervous. My heart is pounding right now. I think we made it. We're getting close to back home. We went a really random back way. We've been taking back roads and going all over the place, but I think we lost them. Okay. You got it? Oh, that is so heavy. Okay. Good oh, job. Okay. You totally what? got it. Carl, what is this thing? I have no idea. Maybe we should take it out of this duffel bag. Whoa. Look this, at this is so bizarre. There's like what vents. Is this? Oh, I better put some gloves we, yeah, on. Yeah, we better really put quick. gloves on. Okay, guys, we've got some rubber gloves on, and we've got this weird thing here in the duffel bag that we really need to take a look at. Look, it's like all glittery and shiny. It looks like these are like reflective pieces of metal. I don't know if it really looks like glitter and to this me. This just looks like a foil. Yeah. Do you remember in the stories of like the Roswell cl crash, how they used to talk about how they found this metallic material that when you would crumple it, it would return to shape. And it looked like a lot like this. I don't want to like touch it too much, but there is kind of a crinkle sound right? to it. Listen to this. That's crazy, okay. It totally does. It looks like it's been through like some sort of cold or hot. I don't understand the color. It's got like vents. Is it like, it's not a heater. Is it some kind of a cooler or something? What could possibly be in I this don't thing? Know. You guys, Carl, it's got like some weird knobs. Turn it around real quick and let's okay, just let's... see. See, look at this. There's like knobs and stuff and there's a bunch of weird writing and things. And then this is the weird part, this foil stuff all over the front or the back or whatever, who knows. And then this is obviously like a handle, so this is the top. Right, this is the handle that I that I did lift it out from behind the rock with. There's like an inscription right there, which is kind of weird. And then there's also this little knob right here, which I do not know what that is. I have not touched it. It's like poking through the foil or something. I don't know if that was accidental. Like when it was in the duffel bag, it pushed through. This is so weird. There's something behind the foil that we need to uncover and look at. I think we need to get the tools out and be really careful and investigate this another time. But we're gonna have to hurry up and figure out what this is and figure out what's inside the mystery safe you guys i have no idea what this thing is let us know down in the comments below if you think you have any ideas there's like a weird knob on it there's like vents on the side it's there's like some kind numbers of... back here and knobs I like know. i don't know what this thing we'll is. have to wait until daylight and really do a serious investigation what in the world is this weird mystery box that we found with this strange foil and what is inside this safe that we found buried in our backyard i think today is the day and it's time that we figured it out you're here on the carl and ginger family channel welcome home you guys i just put a new blade on our dremel saw over here and i've got a plan and today's the day we are going to get this safe open and find out what's inside are you guys as excited to figure out what these things are and what's inside the safe as I am? I'm gonna go get Gingerific. We're gonna open these up. We're gonna figure it out one way or another because every day's a new day. Let's make it an awesome one. You guys, it's been so crazy here at the house. I've had this mystery safe and this weird like thing box like just sitting in the garage. It's all cluttered. It's a huge mess because we've been remodeling. There's like toilets, there's benches and swings and ladders and all kinds of crazy stuff. You guys, our house has been such a disaster area, but we've been working really hard on it we put new stucco on the house we're getting new landscaping done check it out we've got a bunch of palm trees and cool stuff already here the landscapers are gonna come and start putting all that in just wait until you see the back patio I'll take you over there and show you in just a minute but it reminded me really quick that we are going to be at CVX live in Provo Utah September 21st and 22nd I'll put a link down in the description below a lot of really cool youtubers are gonna be there our friends daily bumps are gonna be there Carter Scher and Lizzie are gonna be there Chad Wild Clay and V are gonna be there. A whole bunch of our friends are gonna be there. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, hey Ginger. Hey guys. Who else is coming to CVX Live? Oh man, so many cool people. Daily Bombs, Steven Scherer. Right, Carter Who Scherer. else? Carter Scherer. Rebecca Lizzie's Zamalo. gonna be there. Who's kind of mad at me right now. Oh, I know. Rebecca Zamalo's Rebecca's gonna be there. Gonna be there. They're um, so cool. Guava Who Juice. Else? Karina yes. Garcia, uh, Sean I mean, Duras, a whole bunch of really cool YouTubers. I are am be there. so freaking excited, you guys. I cannot really cool. wait. Tickets are on sale right now. The link is down in the description below. If you want to come meet us in person, get some autographs, get some pictures with us, hang out. It's going to be a party for two whole days at that convention center. Get your tickets now and check it out. You don't want to miss it. Look at this, you guys. We are painting all the cement out here. We're changing all the swings in the back. We're really freshening up the place. So here's the new paint. This is the old paint. This is all getting redone. And we've redone this whole 
back patio area. I know it's in a big shadow right now, but <laughs> Which wow. Which I love. It, I just love it so much. I know. It looks so gorgeous. It's still a little bit messy here, but we put a drain in right here so all the water can run off by the pool. We got our hot tub set back up and all this stuff. We even made like a little platform for it. And then check out this little back patio that we made. It's so awesome. We got our lounge chairs in here. Oh, why is there like an ugly towel on this? Look at this. We got these beautiful pots oh, right there. And then we've got this whole seating area and it's all been remodeled and nice. I think it needs like a little table in there, don't you think? I think so. We're like, we need to like plant the pot. Yeah, there's a lot of finishing it. touches. We're gonna put some plants in these, but I don't know, let us know what you think. It looks gorgeous. And don't worry, we're gonna repaint all the outlets and all that stuff. It's still a work in progress, but coming along nicely. We really love it here and it's coming along awesome. It's gonna be great to film videos out here, but what we've gotta do first is figure out what's inside the safe and what's inside that weird mystery box with the knob and the foil. I think it's time to go inside and crack it all open. What do you think, blue dog? <laughs> he doesn't know what this thing is either. He's, he's like, I want no part of this. He's gonna keep a safe Maybe distance. he's feeling vibes. You know how dogs are like that, Carl? Maybe he's, he's like, he's like, don't do it. You okay? Is that weird? Are you nervous? He's acting so weird he's right now. He's acting really weird right now. You know how dogs like have a sixth <laughs> sense? Oh. What? You guys, what do you think Blue's trying to tell us? Tell us down in the comments below. What do you think, Ginger? I don't know. I'm like 30% excited and 100% nervous. Well, I think what we need first of all is mystery lighting. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I think let's look around on the outside. Okay. Uh, I think we've shoved it in the duffel bag already and ran around with it. So we're not going to find any fingerprints or anything. But, but look at these etchings up here. There's etchings? Whoa. There's a bunch of numbers. I have no idea. I don't know what that is. What kind of numbers are those? I don't know. That's not like a GPS coordinates. I, I, I have no idea. It, it has letters mixed with numbers. That's is so there, weird. Is that enough numbers to be a combination for the safe? Oh. Wait, that doesn't make any sense okay. though because like one, two, three to open the safe. Right. So if it's double digit numbers for each turn, that's two, four, six numbers, right? And there is a sequence of six numbers at the end. Should I just try it? Let's just peel the foil off. Really? I'm, I'm so tired okay. of reading. Okay. I just want to see what's inside these mystery boxes. Ready? Anything that we collect, we'll just put like in this little bin. Okay. I'm going to start over here and just peel it down. Okay. Wow, it's really stuck. Is it really? You can see kind of like some sort of adhesive. Oh gosh. Do you see that? There's yeah. like Yeah, is that what all the stringy stuff is? is it I don't know. It looks like foil, but it's not really like cooking foil. No, it's not like aluminum foil that like I it reminds guess. me more like one of those space blankets. You know what I mean? Hmm. Like that they use like if you're cold like in an your emergency. emergency blanket type thing. Oh, there's a huge warning label. What? It's okay, all wait. in English. Okay, that's danger. Weird, right? Yeah, that's so weird. Danger. Batteries may release uh, that during charging. Explosive. Charge the batteries well ventilated area. It's some sort of a battery for energizing equipment. Make sure you wear the switch position the same as the available input power. What in the world? Whoa! Look at that. Charge time, hours remaining. What, what in, in the, the world, world is this? You guys, I did not expect this to be what's under here. I thought it was just gonna be like a box with like some sort of like a keyhole or something like that. But look, what do you guys think? I have no idea what this is. This, I've never seen a device like this before at all. It is super look, bizarre. charge time, what? It's like an analog electric battery. It doesn't have like a volume. It can't be a radio. Channel, it could be. Does it have a volume though? I don't know. There's this whole like dial and knob and everything. And I mean, then look at it all looks these like tune, a charger. tuning knobs and stuff. What are these switches though? Do, do, they, I, do I dare, like why are these set in this specific? Well, well, that's what it said in the, in the specific, it says right up here that you have to have this the switch positions to the same as the available input power. Carl, I don't know about you, but I am getting more nervous about this. I don't know what it is, but there's an electrical I mean, cable. There's like a cord. It definitely plugs Look in. It. That looks so old. I don't want to do anything with this or plug this in or even do any of that until we figure out what's inside the safe first. I mean, I think we just have to just get these things open so that we know what we're working with. I mean, what if there's something in there that makes this make sense? What if they're not even connected and it's two completely different things? I don't know. Oh, wow. Wait, you didn't even charger. say that there was stuff on the back. Sorry. Look at this. 
Charger battery. Look at this. There's even serial numbers on here. This is looks like old military stuff. It's There's like, like a little little hatch. Oh my gosh, that's like a, a hinge. Little compartment, <gasps> like a little compartment in there. With a warning on it. Get the last of that heat shield stuff off of there. Here's what's weird. When we found this by the petroglyphs, it was cold and it was like sparkling and it still has this weird like sparkle or shimmer to it, almost like it's got glitter on it or something. I mean, I don't feel it as cold It's not as, as it cold now. What would I just do? Did it do that by itself? No, I think I had it on the cord. Oh, geez, that Gosh. scared me so bad, you guys. That totally scared me. It's like all these warnings all over it. Let's, okay, let's blast! Let's not just like drop it or bang it around, <laughs> okay. please. Let's be careful. Okay. Whatever's going on with this device, whether it's some sort of like a charger or battery, like it looks like it's like come from outer space or it's some old military thing. It's like X-Files or something. I don't know, but I'm ready to open the safe. How about you? Yeah, let's do it. Well, I got a grinder. My plan here is I'm just gonna use this and just power tool my way all the way in here. But I was thinking, I got this extension cord already set up for the grinder. What if I just like plug this in? Yeah, do it. No, I'm just I, kidding. I thought you were joking. Are you serious? No, I'm totally joking. Do not. That could There's be no so way. Dangerous. I thought for Carl, sure that, that you would tell me not to do this. That do not do that, Carl. It's so tempting. Do not. What if it like turns on? Yeah. What if it? What if like, it like? Puts us in danger, Carl. Well, what if I plug it in and it like teleports me into an alternate dimension that and would I make, make me really sad. I make contact Stop with it. extraterrestrials or like it tra teleports me to Area 51 or or I plug it in and maybe the power goes out and nothing happens. I'm too nervous. Okay. We can't do it. I think it's not gonna be safe if this is gonna be sending sparks off with all the cautions on this. We should probably move this out of the way. I now. think that's a really good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Are you ready for this, Carl? I don't know. My curiosity is overpowering my caution right now. Here's my plan. Know. I'm just gonna go right on this and I'm just gonna take the hinges off. Just take the hinges right off. Here we go. Wish me luck you guys. Smash that like button and let us know what do you think is inside the safe. Here we okay, go. Here we go in three, three two, two, one, go. go. Wow, it's almost cut all the way through. But I'm a little bit worried about the smoke that we're gonna set off the smoke alarm, so we better open some windows. I would say that you're more than halfway through that, Carl. Let's Good should job. I just go for it? Yeah, just go let's for just it. Go for it. Okay, know let's do it. If the alarms go off, they go off. We're just gonna do this. Ready? Yeah, here, here we, we go. go. Go guys. We're really close now, look at this. Here we go. What was that? Is that it? I think it went almost all the way through. Here we go. I'm gonna okay. Oh, look, 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 look. The top just came off. Whoa. There it is. That's Whoa. it. I wonder if I could tap this all the way out if I had the right tools. I'm gonna go get some tools and see if we can figure this out. That is definitely solid metal in there. That is crazy that he actually cut through that. I would totally be lying if I told you guys I wasn't super nervous to see what's inside that safe. If you guys remember, we actually went in with a little micro camera and there was something in there that kind of looked like kind of shiny and it seemed like it was towards the front. What could possibly be in there? I have no idea. I'm so nervous. Carl, did you find something? I got a few things that we can try. What if I just use this bolt? I don't know if it's the right size or not. Oh, it might be too big. Oh, yeah. I think it's too big. Dang it. I'll try it. I'm going to just put it on here. And then if I hit this with the hammer, maybe we can pop this thing out. Ready? Man, I hope that this works. Oh, it, that it's work? totally working. Look. Okay, I'll watch Look. the bottom here. It seems like it's working. I might just get this stuck in there. It's my. <laughs> Maybe I'll try with go, go with something more narrow like the screwdriver. Oh look, it goes all the way down in there. Wow. What happens if I just pull on this? Whoa! It's moving, right? It's totally moving. Okay, I think I just need to get the grinder and I need to cut the bottom hinge off too. Okay, we're gonna take off that bottom one now? Yeah. You ready? Yep. We have right. no idea what's in here. Makes so me so nervous. If this thing falls off, I don't know. You like be really careful, okay? Okay. Here we go. Thing. Wow! I don't know if I got all the way through or not, but look. Whoa! It totally eliminated the entire blade of this Dremel saw. This is some tough material. Carl, it's hanging on by a thread. 
Oh my I'm word. I'm just gonna give it a good hit here with this pry bar. Ready? Yes. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh, you got it. Look, there it is. That's it, that's the whole thing. Oh it's just word. like a little pin this entire time. That's all that was holding it together. Why is that like, so, that must be really strong metal. If I don't it's know. If it's that small and was so strong. Ginger, are you ready? Yeah, I am ready. I'm so nervous. I don't but... know if this is even gonna work. Oh, look, it's moving. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Ready? I yes. think I've got it now. Oh man. <clears throat> I guess I just. Oh! Whoa! 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 Whoa. Look at that. Look. It looks the same as the radio thing or that battery box or whatever the heck it is. Yeah, that color right there. Whoa! What even is Whoa! That? What is that? Ginger! Carl, do Ginger. not touch that. Do not touch that. Is that is not like anything I expected. Whoa. It smells. That's it's, making me really nervous. It's like a slime. It's like smeared. I'm just gonna carefully look. There's something in the door. Whoa, wait a second. What is that? <gasps> Do you remember when we put the spy camera down in there and yes. we took that picture? Yes! The four little holes remind me of a cell phone, like those old style cell phones that have like the ear hole in Right. I think that's totally what we got with the spy camera. I think it was just like, we got a picture of the door because I don't remember seeing any of this stuff. No, and I do remember seeing kind of like a light and I wonder if there was like light reflecting off of that. Right, what, what is it? What even is it? Oh my gosh, I know what this is. What? I know exactly what this is, you guys. It's an old camera. What? Look, like a it's a film camera? Like an old film camera. Look, it winds up right there. It's got the lens thing right there. Look, you look right through it. Oh my yeah, gosh, I can you're see right. you. You're look. totally right. Can you see me through there? Yes, yes. It's an old camera. That Carl, means there could be film on it. That's what I was gonna say. What is on it? I have no idea. I don't know, I'm gonna set that right here. But what is this stuff, you guys? What is it? Is it like, is it slimy like you said? I don't know. Should I just like touch it with the yeah. screwdriver? Yeah, just like barely touch it. Okay, it's not soft, right? Look, look. It's like, oh, oh, it's like this stuff, kind of. Look, like, it's like that weird powdery clay stuff that we dug out. Look at the color of it, though. Yeah, and it like stinks kind of so bad. I think we should just stop right here. I mean, I just feel like we need to take our time right now because that is really scary. I know, and look, Blue is like all curious about this thing. Yeah, he Blue, doesn't know what's going come on. Come over here, don't go by come that. On. I think what we need to do is we need to make sure that this is all safe. We need to get it out of the house. It's stinking up the house like really bad. So we're gonna take this back outside. We're gonna secure this stuff. We're gonna call some of our friends and see what we should do next. Tell us down in the comments below, what should we do? Should we dig into this? Should we call our friends and get some help? What should we do with this weird mystery box? Let us know down in the comments below. But for now, I think that's good enough for today. We gotta get this out of the house. What I totally think? agree. Yeah, you guys, if you guys like this video and you wanna get caught up on all the stories and the backstory and everything that's going on, click anywhere on the screen in order to subscribe or to watch those videos. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.